What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another all-new Hybrid Network Star Wars video, this time breaking down a massive revelation out of the next film coming up from the galaxy far, far away, Solo, A Star Wars Story. That revelation comes to us in the form of, drumroll please, Lego sets. I know we've talked about Lego sets before, and as far as sources of movie information go, they're not always 100% reliable. But that being said, there are a few reasons to take this as legit, which we'll go into in a minute. And a heads up for some of you that might be newer viewers of ours out there, we cannot show the sets in question in the video as they were confidential mock-ups that were leaked, and even Disney are pretty picky about that sort of thing going up on YouTube, so to avoid copyright, we cannot show them, but we have linked them for you in the description below. So, what exactly is featured in these leaked LEGO sets? Well, vehicles, and these are the big pricey sets that'll run you anywhere from $30 to $100 or even more, and they feature some new stuff like brand new speeders and stormtroopers, to the more familiar like TIE Fighters and the crown jewel of the entire leak, which surprisingly sits somewhere in between. That crown jewel is the Millennium Falcon itself, Han Solo's iconic piece of junk, the ride that he won from Lando Calrissian in a game of Sabacc, the ship that made the Kessel run in 12 parts and that vehicle that can reach 0.5 past light speed. Only, the ship that we see here is noticeably different than the one that we see in the original trilogy and even the new trilogy. And why, we don't know as of right now, but we're kind of left to assume these are some of the modifications that Han made over the years, as he stated in A New Hope. And if you haven't yet, please click on through to the Imager album linked below to see what I'm talking about. I mean, not only is the ship shinier and even looking newer, even in LEGO form, there are some obvious differences. First, as you'll probably notice, first thing when you look at the image, the ship at one point had a blue paint job, or at least blue stripes, and that would probably be the spaceship equivalent of racing stripes on a car. We see no evidence of that blue paint in the later incarnations of the Falcon, so that could have just been one of the many modifications that Han made after winning the ship from Lando, an event that many have speculated we'll actually see on screen for the very first time in this movie. But the other noticeable change is arguably bigger than just the paint job. If you look at the nose of the Falcon, it's noticeably not split into those two iconic mandibles, which it sports by the time of the original trilogy. And this actually is the source of a little bit of confusion for me, because canonically, the rectangular split in the nose actually served an in-universe purpose in the fact that this specific model of freighter, the Corellian YT-1300, actually pushed stacks of containers through space, which rested snugly in that little nose slit. As there's no split here, that either means that might be changed in-universe, or Lando potentially made earlier modifications to the ship to cover it up or remove it, but either way, we'll probably see it changed back by the end of the film. The set looks like it includes Han and Chewie, of course, but also Amelia Clark's character called Ki Ra and Donald Glover as Lando, suggesting that the core group of actors will probably spend at least a little time together on this specific ship. Beyond that, the name of the set is called Kessel Run, suggesting that we'll see that iconic Star Wars moment on screen for the very first time. Let us know what you think of the Falcon's redesign in the comment section down below, and whether we'll see it changed back over the course of this movie, but that's gonna do it for me here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw, subscribe for more great content every single day, and consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. For even more content, check out our website at hybridnetworkyt.com, and if you love HN and want to take your support to the next level, consider donating to us on Patreon as we strive to bring you the best content possible. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.